In this video I will compare Thunkable versus Flutterflow and tell you which of these no-code app builders is best for you and your project. So first, what exactly do they do? They both allow you to build applications without using any code, both the front and the back end of the application. Now it can be for mobile or for web, you can do it both with both of these. And when making a decision, it really depends on what you are looking for in the no-code app builder. For example, one of them is a bit easier to use, one of them is a bit cheaper, and that's what I'm going to explore in this video. So first I want to look at their pricing, since this is a pretty important distinction. Now you can see Thunkable has a free plan that gets you up to 10 projects. Now that sounds really good, but you will see for $15 per month you get one private project, which means that these 10 projects are public, so anyone can see these and basically also copy them. However, the private project no one else can see. So if you want to get that, it's $15 per month. Then you have the $45 per month pro plan, which is the perfect plan to build and launch your personal app. So if you actually want to launch your app, then you need to get this plan, because here you will get the Apple App Store and Google Play Store publishing. You can get unlimited projects and up to 50 private projects. You will also be able to add in-app payments and you will get chat support. Then you have a $200 per month business plan for individuals or teams ready to launch an app, extend their business or build for clients. So here you also have the publishing, unlimited projects, dedicated onboarding and support. And on top of that, you will get custom branding. So if you want to get custom branding, you will need to get the $200 per month business plan. Then finally you have the team plan which starts at $500 per month, which is for if you have a larger team. Now when you scroll down you can see what exactly is included in all of this. So then you can just determine which one you will need. For example, if you want to do web apps, you will also need to get the pro plan. If you want more than two web apps, you need the business or team plan, etc. Now comparing this to Flutterflow's pricing, you can see Flutterflow also has a completely free plan. Now you can either choose for individuals or teams or for enterprise, but I'm just going to focus on individuals and teams. Now you also have a free plan here with a visual app builder, hundreds of pages and component templates. You can build mobile, web and desktop apps, you get API and data integration and you already get web publishing in the free plan. Which means that using Flutterflow you can actually publish your web app completely for free. Then the standard $30 per month plan allows you to download your project source code or APK. Now Thunkable doesn't allow you to do this. You cannot download your project code in Thunkable, in Flutterflow you can. You also get the custom domain web publishing and in the Pro $70 per month plan you will unlock the deployment to Apple and Google app stores. So if you want to build a mobile app, you need to get the Pro plan. If you want to build a web app without a custom domain, then you can actually do it for free. Now making a choice between these two builders really depends on what you are building. Now what I recommend you to do to really make a decision that is best for you is to first go and create free accounts with both of these and if you already have an idea of what you're building see which one has the best templates for that because if one of them for example doesn't have a good calendar and you are building something that needs that specific calendar then probably go with the other one now overall i think flutterflow is the better option but if something that you are building is way easier to build on thunkable then thunkable will be the better option. So that's why I recommend you to try them both out and if you're looking for the best free plan then that will be Flutterflow. So that concludes this comparison of Thunkable versus Flutterflow. If this comparison was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.